So you're ready to blog? Wondering how much fun it will be? Not sure where to begin? Don't panic! Blogging is something that can be easy and fun. This video will detail how to use Classroom Blogmeister with the account that your teacher has set up. The first thing that you need to do is open up a web browser. For this one we're going to use Internet Explorer. Next you're going to have to type in the URL of your teacher's Classroom Blogmeister page. You should be on your teacher's site and on the right hand side you're going to see a listing of the classes and students and we're going to look for my name which is New Student. Click on that and you can see my new student page. Now my new student page is a bit boring right now because I have not logged in and customized it and made it my own page. So in order to log in on the upper left hand corner you will find the login button. Click it. A uh, box will open up and ask you your name and the password that has been supplied by your teacher. Clicking enter you will now see clearly marked in the right hand left hand corners in red bold type edit mode and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through some of the templates here to select one that I like the best okay I'm going to select this one right here by selecting this template it now applies the fonts and the colors and the design and the styles that I've seen here on my actual blog and if I click view my blog you can see that my blog has gone from boring to bold I'm going to click back into the edit and we're going to start our very first article. Clicking on the articles option up top will bring up the articles window. And all I need to do is click a title and I'm going to make it any old title. And the text I'm going to use is, this is any old text for my article. If there is an assignment that goes along with this so that my teacher has specified, I can specify it here. I can click it. I can click request publishing. What that will do is it will send it to my teacher for his or her approval. And if it meets the approval, it will be published live on the site. Note that as soon as you submit something for approval, it is not available on your blog. You can see that my blog still has not made any changes. Once it has been approved, it will be available. Now that my blog article has been approved by my teacher, you can see that it appears on my blog page. Any old title, this is any old text for my title. I can see how many reads have been on it and the time and date it was published. Commenting is a great way to establish a digital dialogue between you and other students in other classes or in your class. To make a comment, I simply clicked on the comment text. If I add a comment, it will open up the comment text area. I can put my name, email. I discourage my students to uh, put an email address. Just It's too much personal information and there are a lot of privacy issues. So I ask my students to leave it blank. URL of your blog, that can be the actual website address of your blog and I have my students put in their blog URL and the good thing about that is if somebody wishes to go back and look at what you have written or comment on your work they can do so as well. Now my comment, I think that this is great. And I will put in the alphanumeric code to prove that I am indeed a human. Clicking submit. The comment will be sent to the teacher for his or her approval. Once again, comments do not go up without teacher approval if that's how your teacher has set it up. Okay, let's revisit our blog article now that the comment has been approved by the teacher and I see it has been read now five times and I have one comment clicking on that comment text once again I think this is great posted by this date that time by another student and you can see that the another student text is linked and if I click on it boom takes me to the URL that was specified as kind of a return address now for this exercise I've used the same website URL for my commentor as my original article but you can see how it really will encourage interaction between students within your class and outside the walls of your classroom, which is really exciting. Well, I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope it encourages you to take advantage of this great resource, which helps to open up communication both inside and outside of your classrooms. So long, and best of luck.